Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and I hope all is well. Oklahoma's head coach Brent Venables, he takes shots at Coach Prime. He said he's not like Coach Prime in his roster management and I totally agree with him. Stay tuned to find out why. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All of that will be greatly appreciated by me. All right, so Oklahoma's coach Brent Venables, he joins the list of other coaches that are taking shots at Coach Prime. Let me just say this off top. People wouldn't be talking about Coach Prime in Colorado if he wasn't doing something right, if he wasn't a big deal. Coach Prime is a big deal and they know that. He's a big deal. Now that he's on center stage, he's in the power five, all eyes are on Colorado. And other coaches, yeah, they might be salty. Now, not all coaches, but some coaches that they might feel slighted by some of their recruits going to Colorado, even next season. Coach Prime is going to be in contention to get some of these top name recruits to come to Colorado as opposed to other programs. So, yeah, I could see why Brent Venables might feel a certain type of way. He even went off into several tangents in his interview at his um, Big 12 Media Day. But I'm going to read this article because I agree with him. He said he's not like Coach Prime in his team management. For one, yes, he's not like Coach Prime because he didn't inherit a team that won that only won one game. And also, you're not like Coach Prime because Coach Prime has a gold jacket. You don't. So, yes, I agree with you, Coach Venables. You're not like Coach Prime. You're not like him and you probably would never be like him. I hate to be harsh here, but he's totally correct. He's totally correct. Um, this man is he's not a regular coach, man. This is not a regular coach. These are not regular circumstances. Like Coach Prime said, he was a broadcaster for over 10 years. Usually coaches, after they finish their tenure at coaching, they go into the broadcasting booth. He's already been there. Not only that, he's already played football on the highest level and went to the Hall of Fame. Don't you think he knows something about winning? So let's look at this article. Brent Venables is entering a hostile territory. I agree. The second year coach. Excuse me, the second year Oklahoma head coach had a miserable run last year in Norman and felt emboldened to shake some of the trees before the Sooners exit to the ex-SEC. The former Clemson defensive coordinator made his rounds at the Big 12 Media Day this week and took aim at Deion Sanders while on air with KREF Radio. Venables thought Coach Prime was wrong for his handling of the roster turnover and even compared it to his own situation, even though you can't compare the two. Now, this is what Coach Venable said. He said, you know, I gave guys 12 months of grace, Venable said. I was unlike Deion Sanders. I gave guys 12 months of grace to figure it out. He went on to say, here's the three, you know, go to class, you know, live right off the field. And when you show up, man, you show up with respect and appreciation for your opportunity. Sanders took over the one win Buffalo team after Carl Durrell exited and didn't look back. A rebuild with 70 new players coming to Boulder to be a part of the process. Nothing out of, excuse me, nothing out of the normal, but a majority coming via the transfer portal and a surge from Florida based schools. Venables went off several tangents while talking to the media. His attack on Sanders style came out of frustration. Get this due to watching some of the Oklahoma's targets go to Colorado. Absolutely. If this offseason has taught us anything, it's certain coaches find Prime to be an easy target. I agree. It also means he's doing something right by changing the culture around him. Otherwise, people wouldn't care enough to say anything about what's going on at Colorado. I totally agree with everything that was said right there. If Coach Prime wasn't doing something right, nobody would care. Nobody would care. But see, Coach Venables has, I, 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 I certainly um, understand why he's frustrated. If some of his uh, Oklahoma targets went on to Boulder, I can see why he's frustrated because he cannot compare. There's no comparison. You cannot compare the two coaches. In fact, it's not fair to do so. Coach Prime has a gold jacket. Not many coaches around has a gold jacket that's coaching. Not many. There's one in Miami, though. 
The University of Miami has a gold jacket coaching. That's Jason Taylor, if anybody remember Jason Taylor. He has a gold jacket and he's coaching the defensive ends. But there's not many walking around with gold jackets that are actually coaching. And on top of it, there's not too many coaches right now that is considered one of the greatest two sport athletes of all time. We talk about him and Bo Jackson. There's not too many coaches that have their own shoe. There's not too many coaches that command the media attention. And also Coach Prime, he relates to these young men. That's a big part of this whole situation. Why? Because think about this for a second. Travis Hunter, when he was making his decision whether he should go to Colorado or not, even though I knew he was going to Colorado, teams reached out to him, according to Coach Prime, and offered him a bag. They offered him well over a million dollars. Why do you think Travis Hunter decided to go to Colorado? Because of Coach Prime. And this is the reason why a few coaches are salty. Now, we know... Um, but prior to this article, there was another mysterious coach. They still not have named the coach in the um, Pac-12 that was saying taking shots at Coach Prime, even though I think that was media driven um, until they named the coach's name. I don't believe it. But Coach Prime is here now. Now he see before they were watching him at Jackson State, but now he's on the big stage. He is now in the Pac-12. He's now in what you consider the power five. He is going to start to, and he also has a lot more resources at his disposal, right? And he has total command of the team. Athletic director Rick George has given him the keys to the team. And this is um, intimidating, I, I would assume, for certain coaches. You can't, if you, if, I mean, don't get me wrong. Coaches like, um, excuse me, schools like Alabama, the Georgias, the Floridas, the Florida States, they're going to get their share their fair share of five-star, four-star athletes. Um, they're going to get their talent. But Coach Prime is now in contention now that he has the resources to back him up at Colorado. Um, and like Coach Prime said, he doesn't promise anybody anything. He said, look, this is what we could do. I'm not making any promises, but here it is. And a lot of people and a lot of parents, they like that. They like somebody that's not trying to tell them what they want to hear. And he is going to be in contention to get these athletes. And I, I was like, it, it had to be something about recruiting where Coach Venables was feeling salty here. Because like the article said, there was a few Colorado, tar I mean, um, Oklahoma targets that Coach Prime was able to pick up. And next year is going to be the same thing. And the year after that, each year is going to build upon this inaugural season. And I can't wait. For Colorado to take center stage because they're already on center stage. But that first game against TCU, that they're taking center stage for the first time. And um, if they win that ball game, things are just going to be up from there. But Coach Venables, in closing, you are right. You're not like Coach Prime um, in many ways. You're not like him, and you'll never be like him. There's a, Coach Prime is a one of one. He's a one of one. You know, it's not many like him. It's just a one of one. There's no, there's not going to be another coach prime. He was awesome on that field and on the baseball field as well. But anyway, drop your comment below. Let me know how you feel. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.